in the basement of Harris residence, looking at a possible full system replacement. Uh, to start out, they have this Aroma retail uh, product that uses this uh, vinyl line, just pokes in. I think there's a mister on the inside, homeowner uh, put that in. So something to keep in mind when we replace the unit just to get that reattached into our plenum. We'll build from the ground up. I got a five ton AC system, a pretty large home. Um, standard efficiency on our furnace. We got a four to a five connected to a six inch stack and a four for our water here. We'll send out a new T. Uh, we just need a six by four or six by five, whichever, to connect back to this with a six inch cap. Copper gas lines coming into our furnace. We'll repipe, reset based on the new location. We'll get our furnace on a base. We'll probably do a larger base, uh, an eight, possibly 10. We got plenty of height um, so we can get a geo filter put in. We'll bump our return over because we can't go around. We've got our, our sewer coming down there that keeps us from doing a wrap around. Got a powered humidifier on the back side. We'll do a bid for a replacement of that. Couldn't find any combustion air uh, grills in here. Got plenty of drywall space to do it, but it looks like we're we're not gonna have enough for combustion air. And then got multiple panels in the home, three of them. I think this one, the only one unmarked, is a double pole 60. Cutler hammer. That one's just got a lot of open space and a sub panel coming off of it. This system is for our first floor and basement. Second floor unit. It's our panel on it. So again, we'll return, bump our return drop over uh, 28 by 12 is existing. Uh, we could go to a 14 if necessary. We've got four inches here existing. Give us a little bit more space. And then that larger filter drain line off the front of the unit, about five feet. And our line set travels up through that area. Then goes over the line that does have drop ceiling. And then somewhere travels outside. Down the basement we do have, looks like there's a return over there on that wall. And we've got a double return down here as well. There's a walkout to bring equipment in through here around the side yard. Uh, if we went high efficiency on the furnace side, keeping in mind we've got all finished space around. Um, Probably our best location will be going out the front, out the front here. Taking out one of these joists, we'll look outside and see exactly where that puts us uh, to make sure that's achievable. Any We're questions? Outside the Harris residence looking at a possible full system replacement for our first floor basement system. Our American standard five ton unit sets here. Need a new electrical disconnect and whip coming out to the unit. Uh, flush and pressure test our line set. Uh, seven eighths by three eighths uh, on it. New pad. We'll need some, uh, probably some buckets of rock and some pavers. Uh, this has sunk over the years. I'm not super level from that standpoint. Rip up the existing poly. Go back with a poly on top of our rock once we get it level. Get it set up a little bit higher. And then access taken down to the basement area. Come in through this gate, go down this side, go into our walkout area.
any questions, let me know.